So let me get this straight. Ah. Whirlwind rents it out to Lucky South 99, tama? Yes po. Okay. And Lucky South rents it out to somebody else? Yes, to the Chinese po. Okay. But then you said earlier that Lucky South and Whirlwind are one and the same. So you meaning you're renting it to yourself? Um, Consultahin ka lang po yung abogado ko. No, no, no. You answer it. I mean, ikaw yung may-ari, majority stockholder ng Whirlwind. Ikaw din yung stockholder ng Lucky South 99. At hindi mo alam na you're just renting it from each other na you're saying na it's one and the same? What kind of license did you get, trying to get from PAGCOR? Mr. Chair, license to operate po ng PAGCOR. Ano? Ano ano to operate po. ng PAGCOR? Hindi pwede to operate ng PAGCOR. You, you applied for a license from PAGCOR to operate what? Uh, to operate Pogo. Po. Yun! Ibig sabihin, involved ka sa Pogo. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-apply ng license sa PAGCOR na hindi mo alam na Pogo yan. I think she's not feeling well. Sir Chair? The, the doctors in the house will... Uh, one Chair. minute suspension. Mukhang puno ng dramang mga eksena. Watch the pool highlights video. Sa sulat mo, address to uh, the Quad Committee sa apat na chairman, wini-withdraw mo yung iyong uh, signing of waiver. Why? Hindi ko pa po totally wini-withdraw. Okay. Uh, nung time na nangako po ako or nagsabi ako ng yes sa inyo is yung time na wala pa po akong kaso. As of now, I have 87 cases po. Oh, yeah. So, and, uh, sige, go ahead. Okay lang po. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and gugustuhin ko po sana na malaman muna ng lawyer ko or mapag-aralan po nila yung possible na ano. Hindi ko po kinaklose yung door for that. Again, pinirmahan ko po siya nung time na binigay po ni Comsec on the spot. Hindi po ako nagdalawang isip for that po. And as a matter of fact, ay, uh, nung uh, pinirmahan mo siya, during the time na nagkaroon tayo ng hearing, two days after, pinail ng NBI, ng uh, PAOK, saka ng AMLAC yung case, no? Pero... Yes po. That case was, uh, pupunta muna yan sa preliminary investigation para makita nila kung meron siyang uh, probable cause. And uh, I have uh, seen yung dokumento, isang makapal siyang documents, ha? And uh, out of the 35 na mga kinasuhan doon, pang 34 ka. Alam mo ba yan? Hindi pa po namin nakikita yung... Yung totality. Opo. Uh, hindi pa po na-receive ng lawyer ko yung mga kasong sinampa po sa akin. Yes. And uh, I, I would like you to understand that ang nag-file is uh, AMLAC, NBI, sa Kapaok. Yung korte, it's a long process. At itong dito sa amin sa Kongreso is an investigation in aid of legislation. So what we wanted to uh, find out in this uh, committee ay yung mga pangyayari na makakatulong para baguhin namin ang mga existing na batas para mapatibay natin yung mga pagsawata sa mga kriminalidad na nangyayari sa ating bayan. Especially doon sa Pogo, including yung mga crime elements of human trafficking, sex crimes, uh, kidnapping, torture, murders, and a lot of things. Isang tabi mo muna yung waiver will derail um, the purpose of this investigation. Do, do you know that? Na medyo, syempre, uh, kung hindi ka mag-waiver, so eventually, hindi namin makikita yung mga bank transaction mo na maaaring doon namin makita yung mga sinasabi namin malalaking tao na involved sa operation ng Pogo. Once na ang AMLAC nagpadala na dito ng uh, tinatawag natin mga bank transaction mo because they have uh, already uh, elevated that to the court, magiging useless na rin yung waiver na ibibigay mo sa amin. Alam mo ba yan? So, you need to discuss that with your lawyer, Cassandra. Um, Pag-aaralan po ng ano. Hindi ko naman po, again, kinoclose yung door for that waiver. But uh, gusto ko po sana na mapag-aralan po muna ng 
aking mga abogado yung kasong sinampa po sa akin ng government agency po. 46 buildings that uh, naandun sa Porak. Kasi sabi mo kanina, 40 plus, di ba? 46 yung buildings doon eh. At doon sa 46 buildings na yon kasama doon yung mansion? Hindi po. Hindi kasama yung mansion. According sa assessment, uh, it recent to uh, 2.5 billion. Tingin mo, umaabot na ng 2.5 billion yung property? Including the lots, the buildings, the structures, the golf courses. Merong golf courses yun, di ba? Walang golf course? Wala po. Mga bilas lang. Mga bilas. Uh, bahay lang po. Mga bahay sa mga buildings. Uh, buildings, um, iilan lang po siya. So do you think uh, aabot siya sa 2.5 billion? Uh, Ipa-double check ko po dun sa accountant po. And uh, if you have a 58% stake dun sa Whirlwind Corporation, which owns the real uh, estate property, kung titignan natin 58%, So kung, uh, for example, gawin na lang natin dalawang billion yon, so meron ka ng more than one billion. Tama ba yun? Kasi 58% ka eh. If ganun po yung compute, tama po. Pero oh. hindi ko po sinasabi na... Two billion. Ito po, check ko po. <laughs> Sige. Uh, yung Lucky South uh, 2024 was raided by government operatives. Do you remember the time na na-raid to? ng DILG? Yung mansion po ba yun? Uh, Lucky South 99, located in Porak, Pampanga, was raided in, uh, go, in, uh, in June, 20, June 4, 2024. Nagpatuloy pa rin ang operasyon. Iba nagkaroon na ng... Uh... Wala na pong operational dahil uh, niraid na po nila pero wala po silang nakita kahit isang tao sa loob po ng compound. Nag-email po ang pagcore sa amin na hindi na po nila i-re-renew yung uh, tag dito, yung lisensya po namin. So hindi na siya nag-operate uh, after uh, June 4? Yes po. And pwede na po akong bigyan ng chance uh, mag-explain regarding dun po sa pinakita niyo last time sa akin na, na torture. Yes, okay, go ahead. Uh, yung mga torture video na yon. Pwede niyo po puntahan ang Porak Pampanga, wala po kayo makikitang any background na ganun yung uh, ganun yung room ng torture. Kahit ikutin niyo po ang buong Porak Pampanga na meron po doon sa sinasabing uh, illegal pogo raid na ni-raid so, ng PAOK po. Ang ibig mo sabihin yung 46 buildings na yun, walang nagmamatch doon sa pinakita nating mga torture. Uh... Yes po. How can you be sure of it? Again, hindi po ako sigurado, able... pero po... Yes. Uh, hindi ka sigurado? Sa... Ha? Hindi ka sigurado? Hindi, kasi hindi ka yung... sigurado na doon naganap yung mga torture na sinasabi ko Kasi kung makikita time, nyo po yung video yung background. doon... Opo, yung background ng video, wala po kaming ganun na background. Sa lahat ng 46 buildings? Yes po. And in, in every building, how many rooms do you have sa bawat building? Hindi ko po sigurado. Pero, kasi wala kong, hindi, hindi ko pinapakilaman yung operational nila. You know, kasi galing kami doon eh. We Opo. have seen eh, the place eh. Yeah. And at the same time, ang lawak ng lugar. Opo. And trying to tell us na yung pinakita namin dito, walang mga background doon sa actual location where it happened, uh, it's beyond my comprehension. Kasi, Sa 46 buildings na yun, it's really hard to go around. Hindi mo kayang talagang punta ng lahat. And at the same time, kaya, na, kaya mong baguhin right away yung mga background na sinasabi mo. So don't tell us, no? Don't tell us that the, 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 the videos, the tortures that was uh, raided by PAOK TF and they were able to, uh, to confiscate thousand of cell phones at nakuha mismo doon sa area where uh, it was raided, doon nakuha yung mga video ng tortures. And I think it's um, quite offending on uh, the part of the PAOK TF to, to tell this story na walang mga background na ganoon. Kung hindi mo siya makoconfirm that you were able to visit all the 46 buildings in that uh, Pogo Hub. Mr. If Kasi, if you were able to see 
all of the rooms of the 46 buildings, then I will believe you. Mr. Chair, kami yes. po ang nagpatayo doon. At nung narate po yun, hindi na po kami nakapasok. Even word win, hindi na po makapasok. Noong? Narate po yun. Af nung narate, nung sinasabi nung June 4, hindi ko yes. maalala yung exact date ng raid. Dede. Nung narate nung June 4, hindi na po kami nakapasok. Any staff from Wordwin, Mapal, Wordwin, Lucky South, hindi na po sila nakapasok. So in other words, so impossible. In other words, kasi you're telling us because you are trying to tell me that you know the different backgrounds o yung mga yung mga pasad ng different uh, na, uh, uh, rooms and uh, buildings uh, for that matter, yung 46. So meaning kung alam mo lahat yung mga pasad at yung mga background ng mga different rooms you are directly involved in the operation of Pogo. Again, Mr. Chair, correct ko lang po ha. Uh, kami po nagpatayo, kaya alam exactly. ko po yung background. Pero hindi po at never po ako nangailam sa operational ng any Pogo po. Meron po ba ditong present na makakapagturo kung ako po ang nag, uh, kung nakisali po ako sa operational ng Pogo po. And that's why I was a bit shocked when you are trying to tell us that uh, it's a different background ng mga torture victims that I have shown in the last hearing. Because parang ang feeling ko, uh, alam na alam mo lahat ng bawat rooms ng bawat building doon sa Porak. And that's the reason why nagkaroon ako ng konting um, ng, uh, doubts sa sinasabi mo that you are not an operator of the uh, Lucky South 99. And for that matter, Kasi, uh, um, ikaw ang authorized representative ng Lucky South, correct? Yes po. From to 2019 up to present. I mean, nung panahon na yon, yes, consultant pa po ako. Pero uh, madalang na lang ako naging consultant. Pero you, you are a part of the uh, Lucky South 99 from the inception up to 2024. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so in other words, um, even you are a uh, authorized representative from 2023 to tw present sa Lucky South 99, naging incorporator ka naman ng Whirlwind Corporation from 2022 to present. Hindi ko po sigurado yung year. It's in the PDS. Eh. Yeah, hindi uh, ko po sigurado yung yes. year. Yes, you submitted this uh, sa PAGCOR. Yun nga, katulad na nabanggit natin noong nakaraang uh, hearing, uh, you were with uh, attorney Harry Roque and Altenko when you uh, paid yung uh, kakulangan ng Lucky South 99 doon sa opisina ni Altenko. Tama? Opo, nagpasama lang po ako noong time na yun. So being the, the uh, authorized representative, ikaw nagawak ng pera para ibayad sa pagcore And it reaches like $500,000 yung mga binayad mo sa pagcor, Am I correct? Hindi ko po sigurado dun sa amount. Uh, pero, yes. Yeah. Sa isang uh, document sa Radio Pilipinas, anchored by uh, Michael Rogas and Lawrence Tanhoko noong June 14, 2024, aired at news item that Parmalee Queen Roselyn intends to retrieve some items from the Porak Pogo. The news cited an unnamed source from PNP Region 3 who they tried to bribe allegedly through a certain Alvin Constantino. So, andun daw si uh, Rosalyn yung mga gamit niya sa Pogo, sa Porak. And that's the reason why a while ago I asked you about the Ro si Rosalyn. So, hindi mo siya kilala talaga. Hindi ko po sigurado kung kakilala ko siya. Maybe sa face, but not sa name. The reason po. why I ask you about this Rose uh, Nono Lin, kasi siya yung asawa ni Wen Xiong Lin, who is involved with the uh, drug trade starting noong year 2003. At kung nandun si Rose Nono Lin, according sa Radio Pilipinas, anchored by Michael Rogas and Lawrence Tanhoko, then... Worried kami na ang pogo mo ay merong mga involvement of drugs. Hindi ako nagsabi nito ha. 
Yes, ang nagsabi po. nito, yung uh, Radio Pilipinas. Opo. Uh, uh, hindi ko po alam yan. And possible, mm. hindi ko po talaga siya kilala. Again, hindi ko po yung Pogo. Iba po yung Pogo sa... Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry po. for that. And hindi so, po ako naging operational ng Pogo. Yes. Okay. Uh, kasi, are you aware of Section 4 of Republic Act 6981? Yung uh, Witness Protection Program? Uh, pwede kong tanong yung lawyer ko for that. Hindi ko po alam eh. Ang witness protection program ay uh, dito under sa section 4, may kapangyarihan ang uh, committee ito na irekomenda sa ating speaker na ikaw ay mag-under sa witness protection program. Ang witness protection program ay uh, kung makikita ng uh, committee ito na magsasabi ka ng totoo, lalo higit doon sa mga sa mga involved, doon sa mga transaction, para malesen o mat mat mitigate yung uh, crime that will be filed against you. Uh, pwede kong konsultahin yung abogado ko for that? Andiyan ba yung lawyer para mo? Lang... Wala ba si Attorney Topasio? Attorney Joey po. Hindi ba pwede si Attorney Topasio ang sumagot? Yeah. Good afternoon, uh, Your Honor. Uh, I am uh, Jose Lito Lumangaya. I am the law partner of uh, Attorney Ferdy Topasio. Unfortunately, okay. an uh, attorney Tupasio is... Uh, you are limited to uh, just give her a legal advice, okay? Yes, Your Honor. So, uh, try to talk to her for uh, 30 seconds and explain the WPP. Uh, are you aware of, of the uh, na -explain WPP? Na-explain na po na ah, lawyer ko po. Ano na sabi? Ah? Na-explain na sa'yo? Yes, so, po. In so, ano masasabi mo sa WPP? That uh, under Republic Act 6981. Hmm. So, um... Kasi yung waiver na binigay mo sa amin, tapos we need hold mo. So, um, uh, kung hindi mo na siya itutuloy, uh, at uh, hindi na natin malalaman yung mga, mga sinasabi namin about doon sa mga bank transactions that you have issued, then, uh, basically, mapunta na talaga sa korte lahat yun. So, uh, you will not have any opportunity anymore uh, to enter into our uh, WPP with regards to Section 4, uh, with regards to Section 4. Doon naman sa, um, sa DOJ, they have also the process of entering the WPP. Pero we are giving you the opportunity, the, the fastest way, no? Here. Kasi in aid of legislation kami. But of course, certain lawyers, no? Law firm, siyempre gusto nila mahabang proseso sa korte. Di ba? You know that. Because, ano yan, may bayad ng lawyers eh. Di ba? Dito, mabilis yung proseso namin. And once you enter the WPP, no, if we see that your uh, revelation entails that uh, amount of uh, being under the program, then, mamimitigate yung mga kaso that will be uh, okay, Mr. filed against you. Sige, go ahead. Hindi ko po sinasarado yung pag-wave ko po. Again... You have to remember yung filing ng kaso sa iyo, it's a uh, poor preliminary investigation. So ngayon, ang tanong ko sa iyo, kasi, kasi sa dami-dami naman na pumasok na pera doon sa, sa whirlwind, saka sa, uh, sa Lucky South. So sino mga nare-remember mo that you issued check? na mga kilalang personalidad? Wala po. Wala kang na issue Sa pagkakaalala. Wala po. Sa pagkakaalala mo. Senador, gobernador, mayor, congressman. Wala po. Wala po. Wala. Wala po. Okay, cash. Yung binigay mong cash. Saan po? Sa mga tao sa likod ng Pogo. Connected sa Pogo po. Oo, yes. Again, Mr. Chair, Wala din. hindi po ako Ang operational ng Pogo. Okay, so, <laughs> we're, we're trying to make it sure, no? Uh, kasi, ha? Yeah? 58% yung ownership mo ng will wind. And when you issued a, a uh, transmission of money to Pagcor amounting to more than $500,000, including the $50,000 ng cash, no? Medyo questionable na sa amin yun eh. Kasi siyempre, for a uh, young uh, businesswoman as you are, no? parang yung paghahawak mo ng ganun malaking pera, eh medyo mag-iisip kami kung talagang galing sa'yo or, I mean, 
Sino nagbigay sa iyo ng ganong kalaking pera? Yes why, po. That's why, why nandyan po yung pangalan ko po. Ako po yung authori authorized, authorized po ng Lucky South hmm. para magbayad po niyan. Yes, correct. Opo. So ngayon, uh, yung pera na po yan, hindi ko po in from my own. Hindi ko rin po siya, hindi din po siya galing sa corporation po namin. Wait. in mo tong uh, $200,000 sa account number 340-403-7632. Yan yung sa Pagcore Dollar Fund. At in ng, ito naman ang galing sa'yo, Catherine Ong, Lucky South, Outsourcing Incorporated, OGL 23-1102. Tapos, andito yung account number. So, kaninong pera yon? Yung pera po yon galing po sa Lucky South. Na ikaw ang nag-issue? Na ako po yung nagbayad. Sige, kaya nga, wire transfer. Hindi po siya transfer. Uh, Binayad mo ng cash? Yes po, sa land bank po. Ayan po yung resibo po. Yeah, ikaw nagbayad ng cash sa land bank. Yes po. So, dinala mo yung pera na $200,000 sa land bank para payment sa pagkor. Opo. At sino nagbigay sa'yo ng $200,000? Uh, si Mr. Cheng po. Si? Uh, yung assistant ni Mr. Cheng. Cheng. C-H-E-N-G. Ayun ang alam ko kasi Chinese eh. Okay. Miss uh, Cassandra Ong, no? uh, we have to uh, remind you to be uh, truthful. We've been uh, very, very lenient with you. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, uh, the reason why we withdraw you being cited in contempt because you agreed that you will sign the waiver. And unfortunately, uh, hindi mo itinuloy and you were still thinking about it. And we might think also that we will be citing you in contempt if ever that you continue to lie. We hope, uh, Miss Cassandra Ong, you will come to your own senses and try to help this uh, Quadcom. Because, unfortunately, parang napapansin namin na nagiging uh, complacent ka with the treatment that we are giving to you. Don't. Please. Because the reason why we tried to be lenient because you are so young and we don't want you to be, to be put in jail with that age. And accordingly, kapag nagpile na yung mga victims ng uh, human trafficking, we are telling you, walang bail yan. Right away, ikukulong ka. So, Mr. Chair, I want to give to uh, Ms. Cassandra Leong this uh, Republic Act number 6981 para for her to contemplate while uh, she's in our custody. Uh, kasi, basahin mo buti ito. We are helping you. Huwag ka maniwala sa mga lawyer mo. <laughs> Daily lamang ang gusto ng mga... <laughs> And they, I mean, let's face it. They want to prolong your, uh, your cases. Why? Of course. We know that. Yeah, si Attorney Topacio. Alam mo yan, si Attorney Topacio. Ayan. Ang daming banat kay Congressman Abante. Ang daming banat kay, uh, kay uh, Jinky Luistro. Ang daming banat sa akin lingkod. So, it's our time to, to uh, get even. No? Alam mo, okay. pahabain niya ang kaso para at least makuha lahat ng pera mo. Ms. Cassie Young, uh, I just want to be clarified on certain matters, specifically about Whirlwind and Lucky South 99. You testified earlier that you are uh, 50% uh, owner of uh, Whirlwind Corporation. Tama po ba? 58 po, Mr. Chair. 58%. Okay, ang 58% na to, how much po ang binigay nyo or bini binayad nyo for the shares of stock representing 58% of Whirlwind Corporation? Mr. Chair, pwede hindi ko po sagutin yan. At bakit naman po? Uh, for privacy lang po. Well, you know, you have to understand that Whirlwind Corporation is involved in a very serious investigation with regards to the Pogo incident. Tama po ba, di ba? And that's why we want to find out also, since you are the majority stockholder, how much you put in into that corporation. And that's why I think the question is also important for you to answer. Uh, pasensya na po. I invoke. Uh, pasensya na po, Mr. Chair. Sige, sige pa. Uh, I let it go for the meantime. No? Pabalikan ko yan. Now, ang whirlwind naman po ang uh, may-ari ng mga buildings in uh, that, Pogo, that Pogo Hub. Tama? 
Yes po, yung Kayo buildings po. Kayo po ang nagpagawa, po. no? Kasi, Kami ang whirlwind ang nagpa-construct ng whirlwind whirlwind po, oh, po. structures na yun. Now, in the construction of these buildings, na uh, numbering about 45 buildings, no? How much ang nagastos ng Whirlwind Corporation? We'll double check it po, Mr. Chair. You being the majority stockholder does not know how much you spent for the 46 buildings. As least a ballpark figure man lang. Mr. Chair, uh, na three times, bali, nung una, pinatayo is phase one po, tapos sumunod yung phase two and phase three po. Okay nga. So give me a ballpark figure for phase one. Sabihin natin. Magkano ang ginasas? Uh, ito double check ko po, Mr. No, Chair. give me a ballpark figure. You're the majority stockholder. It's impossible na hindi mo alam anong ginastos nyo. Yes po, pero it, it double yes? check. I know. Ito double check ko po, Mr. Chair. For so that. wala Balikan kang idea? Ko po Magkano ang ginastos nyo? Yung exact amount po, Mr. Chair. Ballpark nga eh. Hindi nga exact amount. Uh, double check ko po, Mr. Chair. Double check pa rin. Apo. Oh, okay, sige. Nakadalawa ka na ah. <laughs> okay, how about Lucky South 99? Are you a stockholder of Lucky South 99? Hindi po, Mr. Chair. Hindi. But sometimes you are the authorized representative of Lucky South 99. Tama? Yes po. Tama. Now, are you going to maintain that Lucky South 99 and Whirlwind Corporation are two separate and distinct entities? Uh, may I explain po, Mr. Chair? Sige. Uh, nung una po, Yung Lucky South and Wordwin po is iisa lang po. Okay. Pero po, nung huli, naibenta mo na po si Lucky South. And when did that happen, uh, Miss Ong? Last year po. Last year lang nabenta? Apa. So from 2019 to 2023, they were one and the same? Yes po. So one and the Pero same? Pero hindi siya totally uh, different uh, owners po. Different Mr. owners but Pero one and po, the same? I, parang, I'm confused again, Miss Ong. Uh, way back 2019, ah. um, nauna po si Lucky South po, Mr. Sher. Nauna Ta si Lucky South? Opo, Mr. Sher. Tapos nung huli po, uh, tsaka nagkaroon ng Worldwind po, Mr. Sher. So same owners ang Worldwind Corporation and Lucky South? Yes po, nung una po, Mr. Sher. Nung Chair. una? Opo. So you were also an owner of Lucky South 99, kung ganun man. Because you're the majority stockholder of uh, Whirlwind. Yes, pa. But you just, no you just testified earlier that hindi ka part of Lucky South 99. Uh, hindi po ako part po ng Pogo Operational, Mr. Chair. Wait, 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 wait. Hinihiwalay mo <laughs> ang Lucky South 99 sa Pogo Operations? Ano? Kasi, Mr. Chair, uh, si Lucky South, pinaparental lang po talaga niya sa mga Pogo po. Okay. So let me get this straight, ah. Whirlwind rents it out to Lucky South 99, tama? Yes, po. Okay. And Lucky South rents it out to somebody else? Yes, to the Chinese, po. Okay. But then you said earlier that Lucky South and Whirlwind are one and the same. So you meaning you're renting it to yourself? Um, Consultahin ka lang po yung abogado ko. No, no, no. You answer it. I mean, ikaw yung may-ari majority stockholder ng Whirlwind. Ikaw din yung stockholder ng Lucky South 99 at hindi mo alam na you're just renting it from each other na you're saying na it's one and the same? Different owner po kasi sila. You just said earlier na it's one and the same? It's one and the same po nung una pero uh, ito double check ko po. A double check na naman. Parang lumaki ka pa sa farm. <laughs> anyway, again, just listen to your lawyer first. Go ahead. Is the lawyer advising the, uh, the first speaker or is he, is he dictating the answer? He's, uh, the lawyer is just advising uh, his client of uh, her rights, uh, Your Honor. So please do not coach your uh, client, only advise her of her rights. I think every time there's a hard question asked of Ms. Ong, she would, before answering, she would consult and double check and consult her lawyer. And it takes time for the lawyer to advise Ms. Ong. Maybe we can set, I think, seconds, kasi certain, ano, mga 30 seconds or what? Kasi okay. kung ganyan naman po, pag, three minutes, magtatagal po tayo dito. And we're not extending that courtesy to all 
to, to all our resource persons, we have to be fair also. So I would suggest, Mr. Chair, we just limit the consultation to 30 seconds. Please limit the consultation to 30 seconds. Do you remember if Whirlwind Corporation, in putting up those buildings, obtained a loan from any bank? No po. Wala. So, pera lang ng Whirlwind Corporation. Opo. So, from the estimates of the buildings, Ms. Ong, aabot daw sa estimates ng PAOC ng uh, up to 5 billion ba yun ang sinabi? 5 or 6 billion ang uh, cost ng uh, uh, assessed value ng uh, buildings that were put in. Ang sinasabi mo ba sa committee ito, may ganun na amount, liquid amount, no? ang, ang, ang Whirlwind Corporation in putting up those structures? Uh, Mr. Chair, bali po nung una is uh, kinita lang din po. Tapos uh, pinatayo lang po yung phase 1 po. Tapos unti-unti after kumita ng phase 1, ayun nung po yung time na okay. uh, tinayo yung phase 2 po. So kung sinabi mong kumita ng ganun kalaki, I'm sure you will also have taxes to show that this is the income of Worldwind Corporation. Tama ba? We'll double check it po. Double check again. So, hindi mo alam kung magkano ang income ng Worldwind Corporation na kumita siya ng ganun nga amount to finance on its own the structures that were built in that place. Uh, hindi ko po kasi sigurado yung amount eh. What are you sure of, Miss Ong? Uh, ano bang yung alam mo? Being the majority stockholder of Worldwind Corporation, is there anything na you're sure of? Uh, ang alam ko lang po kasi nung ano, yung total amount, hindi ko po siya sure. Pero basta po, pinarent out ng word win to them is 500. Okay nga. The computation ni Congressman Johnny kanina, it's about 35 million a month. 35 okay. million a month times 12 months, that's about 350 plus uh, 70, 420 million. Eh, billions yung uh, structures na nandun eh. Ang World Wind Corporation po uh, is 2019 pa lang po. Kaya nga. Opa. So you will have the BIR receipts or taxes that will show na ito yung kinita nyo at itong binayad nyo mga buwis. Tama po ba? Ipatanong ko po sa nag -aasik. Okay, so can we yun. secure that na lang, ano, Miss Ong, in your next uh, appearance siguro? Yung how much yung uh, in-invest mo initially with that corporation? Or significant amount yung in-invest mo. Tama po ba? Dito sa corporation na to. Seryosong amount. No. Uh, Opo. Oh, di ba? So now, for someone to invest something like that and not know how the corporation is being run, not know how the corporation is spending their money, not know how much the income is of the corporation, parang nakakaduda eh na... Is it really you who is the majority stockholder of that corporation? Or are you, just, are you just acting as a front for somebody else in that corporation? So it, these questions naturally come into mind because of how you've been giving your answers. Now I hope you understand the next time po, siguro, I know the frustration of some of the members here na wala kaming nakukuhang parang matinong answers from you eh. Why do you refuse to answer... Congressman Pimentel, when he asked you about your schooling. Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi... Why? Uh, hindi po kasi nakapagtapos. Hindi naman nakakaya, hindi ka nakapagtapos eh. Gusto lang na yung malama kung saan ka nag-aral. Yun naman ang tanong, di ba? Hindi naman tinanong na kung saan ka nagtapos. Ang kitatanong natin, kung saan ka nag-aral. Oh, pwede bang sakutin mo yun? Uh, Mr. Chair, marami po akong school na pinag-aralan po. Wala kang school na pinag-aralan o doon ka nag-aral sa China, hindi sa Manila? Um, Kick-out student po ako. Kick-out ka? Uh, magaling. I mean, ngayon lang ako nakakita ng hindi nag-aral at kick-out na magaling sumugot sa sa hearing na ito. Ang mga kausap mo, mga congressman, pero ang galing mong sumagot, ang galing mo kami paikutin dito. Ngayon lang ako nakakita, Mr. Chair, ng isang babaeng 24 years old na walang pinag-aralan, drop out, 
na nakakasagot ng kanyang klasing sagot sa hearing na ito. O, at nakikita ko na marunong ka eh. May alam ka. Edukado ka. And you tell me now, ha? You, you are refusing to answer the question of Congress of Mintel on where you studied? Hindi naman namin tinatanong kung anong antas ng pinag-aralan mo eh. Oo. Ang tinatanong, hindi ka ba nag-aral ng elementary? Let me ask you. Nag-aral ka ba ng elementary? Hindi. Opo. Ayun. Isumagot ka din. High school, nag-aral ka? Mr. Chair? Hindi po, Mr. Chair. So, hindi ka nag-high school, elementary lang na natapos mo? Elementary lang? Uh, Opo. Ay, Mr. Chair, genius to. Genius. Elementary lang na natapos niya, pero pinapaikot mo si Congresong Dan Fernandez. Elementary nga lang eh. Pinapaikot si Congresong Dan Fernandez. Napapaniwala pa ni Congressman. Si Hindi, we're trying to be lenient. Mr. Chairman, uh, if I may. We're just trying to be lenient because, um, yun nga, sinasabi natin, uh, okay naman, nag-waiver na siya eh. Yun nga lang problem. Si, ano, ano eh, si withdraw eh. And that's the reason why medyo, bakit ganun? Nabanggit mo kay Congressman Dan Fernandez, hindi nabigyan ng lisensya. Narinig ko yun, ha? You were not given a license. Now, what license are you talking about? Uh, Nag-message, uh, nag-email po si, uh, Mr. Chair, nag-email po si Pagcor sa email ko dahil ako po yung authorized po. Kaya sa akin po nag-email. Ang sabi po ni Pagcor po is uh, hindi po sila magbibigay ng lisensya. Or, ah, I mean, Pagcor. hindi siya mag-renew. Pagcor. Uh, Ang po, Mr. Pagcor, Chair, hindi nagbibigay ng lisensya sa mga building. Nagbibigay ng lisensya sa Pogo. Di ba? Opo. Eh po. kanina, binabanggit mo na wala kang kinalaman sa Pogo eh. You're going to explain, but you will still insist that you have nothing to do with Pogo. You have nothing to do with Pogo, but you applied for a license in Pagcor, ha? Huh? and you will refuse a license, what kind of license? PAGCOR is not giving a license for apartments or buildings. They are giving licenses for POGO. What are you applying for? Yes po, Mr. Chair. What are you applying for? Um, Nag-apply uh, nag po kami for renewal po ng license po. Nang ano? PAGCOR po. Nang ano nga? PAGCOR po. Hindi, nang ano? License to operate po. For what? Ano, anong iyo operate? Ah, yung tag po dito. Yung... Pogo! Come on, tell me. Pogo! Operation ng Pogo. Tell us here. Because look, ah, we are preventing that a Congressman Karap will again make a motion uh, for contempt and consign you. Consign you. To Mandalu yung correctional institution. Now you answer me now. What kind of license did you get trying to get from Pagcor? Mr. Chair, license to operate po ng Pagcor. Ano? Ano ng to business operate po. ng Pagcor? Hindi pwedeng to operate ng Pagcor. You you applied for a license from Pagcor to operate what? Uh, to operate Pogo. Po. Yun. Ibig sabihin, involved ka sa Pogo. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-apply ng license sa PAGCOR na hindi mo alam na Pogo yan. Oh my goodness. Oh, nagpunta ka sa PAGCOR. Sinama mo pa si, si Atty. Harry Roque. Si Atty. Harry Roque naman, sapagat alam mo may influence sa PAGCOR yan, nagpasama ka sa kanya at nagbayad ka pa oh, ng dollar sa PAGCOR, according to Chairman Altenko. Am I right? Back charges. Back charges. Nagbayad ka. Am I right? Yes po, Mr. Chair. O, For... Ano yung binayaran mo? Utang po. Ng utang ng ano? Utang mo? O no. utang, utang, utang ng ano? Utang po ng Lucky South sa PAGCOR Therefore, po. An, kung hindi ka kasama sa Lucky South, bakit ikaw ang nagbabayad ng utang ng Lucky South sa PAGCOR? 
that she will not um, take her oath on that um, uh, sign uh, waiver uh, before a notary public. Uh, I will move to uh, to cite uh, Miss Cassandra Ong in contempt and uh, assign her in a uh, in the uh, Mandaluyong uh, correctional. Mr. Chair, uh, I'd like to direct my question to Miss Cassandra Ong. Is she available? Anna, nasa CR. One minute, why, why is the toilet break so long, Mr. Chair? This will agitate the Honorable Adjong. <laughs> One minute suspension. May I proceed to Cassie Ong, uh, Mr. Chair? Just a couple of questions. Congress, Congressman Luisa, can we give her three minutes? She has to... I think she's not feeling well. Mr. Chair? The, the doctors in the house will... Uh, Mr. One minute suspension. Uh, can we ask the in-house medical uh, doctors to um, to update us uh, with regard to uh, Cassie's ana uh, Miss Cassandra Cassandra Ong's uh, condition? Mid mababa sir yung blood sugar. Uh, so th that's the cause of the dizziness and the weakness. What the BP the vital signs are stable. What is the blood sugar level? Actually, sir, hindi nga binabasa na ng machine, which means that it's too low. It is true that Miss Ong refused to eat, refused to drink uh, the Coca-Cola that was given to her. <laughs> May specific lang po siyang food na gusto kong kainin. Every time po na nagpo-provide kami ng food sa kanya. So ayaw niya yung ulam na binibigay niyo? Yes po. Ayaw niya? Yes po. And is it true na kanina umaga you tried to give her Coke because mababa na yung sugar niya and she refused to take it? Yes, sir, but later on, inunom naman po niya. Inunom niya? Yes, po. Okay, so the refusal to eat is because of her dislike of the food that you've been giving her. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to ask uh, our doctor here, resident physician, what is now the status of Ms. Ong? What's, what's the condition, really? I can say that she's quite unstable now. One thing can affect the other thing because we, we actually don't know if it's because of... Uh, heart failure or, or something like that or after having examined her with all these uh, yes, prognosis with the, with the blood sugar and with the BP and etc what, what is your expert uh, yes, recommendation sir. my recommendation your professional recommendation yes, my recommendation Mr. Chair is for, for her to be excused for uh, the, re the remainder of this hearing and then a proper workup should be done to her that in the next uh, coming days I think she must be brought to the hospital to the hospital Yes, Paul. Niba? Yes, Paul. She's uh, under our custody, and we have to make sure that she will be healthy the next meeting or the next committee hearing that we require her attendance so that she can also be sane and healthy in answering, you know, capable of answering all our questions. Don't you think it's a uh, high time to bring yes, her sir. to the hospital? Yes, sir. Or at least two, three days. Yeah. Just to give the proper work up, sir. Two to three days. Bro. Okay, two you will be days. the one responsible for this, huh? because uh, yes. home, I, I myself, I will be recommending her to be yes, uh, brought to the hospital. Kasi to the echocardiogram. Kasi napansin ko nung tinatanong naman siya ni Kong Johnny Pimentel, ni Dan Fernandez, nakangiti pa eh. Di ba? Eh, kinangkita ko naman nandiyan siya eh. Pero si, nung si Congressman Abante, nakasimangot na. 